not a neighborhood anymore. I think it's destroyed the community, period. Developing right now, the unintended consequences of Airbnb. Sedona has become the latest city to push back against the home sharing phenomenon. People there complaining that quality of life is going down fast in one of the most pristine places on earth. Jodana visited Sedona where long timers are voicing concerns and looking for the governor for help. Sedona was closed off to the home sharing economy before 2017. If you wanted to vacation there, you got a hotel or a campsite. Well, then Governor Doug Ducey, a big advocate of the sharing economy, signed a home sharing bill that prevents cities like Sedona from opposing companies like Airbnb. It resulted in more options for tourists and more freedom for property owners to make money off their homes, both seen as pluses. But some are asking at what cost? I just came down here with, you know, a 10 year old Toyota and a baby and a suitcase full of beads. 40 years ago, Ann Thompson Fabricant made Sedona home, building a thriving business one bead at a time. It's kind of like uh, humanity, like you can string all these different beads and make one necklace. But if her jewelry symbolizes a town's unity, and believes Sedona is unraveling. I think it's destroyed the community, period. Since the state ushered in the home sharing economy, Sedona has seen many permanent residents leave. There's so many absentee owners. They don't care what's happening in this town. They live in Phoenix, they live in LA. A recent city presentation shows West Sedona alone. The red dots are single family houses now used as vacation rentals. The most recent estimate is 20% of properties in and around Sedona are timeshares or short term rentals. I bought here to be a neighbor and not to be in the middle of a hotel district. Homeowners like Lisa Danielle say the tourist element brings noise and traffic to these narrow streets. The city reports an uptick in nuisance complaints. They've backed over gas meters because the street is small and narrow. They almost burnt a tree down the other night. They had too big a fire in the fire pit. Property owners are also forcing out longtime renters, many who work in the service industry, which makes up the backbone of Sedona's economy. Right now, I can't find any rentals at all, really, in, the, in this town. My rent more than doubled. It more than doubled in three months. Yoga instructor Julie Engsberg is now deciding where she'll live next. It, it isn't a friendly place for locals anymore. It's friendly for tourists. The serenity of this town, a sharp contrast to the angst felt by so many. It's like constantly all we talk about is the traffic and how many houses in the block have gone over to Airbnb. How many people were staying next door last night? Now, locals are asking the legislature and governor to give cities more control over short term rentals. In response, Governor Ducey's office suggests there may be an opportunity here, saying, quote, we continually communicate with legislators and local officials about issues impacting their communities. Having a sense of community is important, and we understand concerns being voiced by many residents. So, guys, there's a fundamental belief, though, that is guiding Governor Ducey on this, which is that in Arizona, property owners have a right to do what they want with their properties without undue government influence. All right, but the legislature, Joe, did take a step towards addressing this problem earlier this year, right? Yeah, yeah the governor signed a law that addresses the party house element that comes with some of these short term rentals. Uh, but a group representing mayors in Arizona cities say it's just not enough. They're drafting a resolution. They want the legislature to take up uh, more restrictions for home sharing to give cities more power. Back to you. All right, Joe, thank you.